Good afternoon and welcome to another exciting episode of Old Ron Acres. Today we're going to do a follow-up inspection of my beehive that survived the winter. Uh, it's been a month since I did the first inspection, so let's take a look at them and see how they're doing uh, with the, you know, after having a month of nectar flows and, and uh, you know, getting stronger hopefully, and we'll go from there. All right, those of you who are with us on the first inspection video uh, will notice uh, right away, let me zoom in, that they are quite a bit stronger uh, than they were on that first inspection. I'm going to go ahead and pull the sugar completely off today, and uh, they just have to go with natural sources, not, and there's not that much sugar left anyway. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out some of the frames that they've got uh, that are empty uh, that are mostly drone comb. Uh, they can use those to store honey in, but you know, with them being as weak as they are, they probably could do to have more worker comb uh, than, than uh, drone comb. So let's see how they're doing. Wow. The fact that they're working the the 10th frame is you know a bit surprising I mean that's, that's that's light years ahead of where they were just four weeks ago and it looks like they're just cleaning the cells out maybe getting ready to to store stuff in them take a quick look and see if I can find the queen on here just in case because I'm gonna shake them off of here and put a better frame in so wouldn't expect her to be on here but I'll shake it over the hive anyway Now this is a decent looking frame, uh, so this one will stay in there. If you notice, it's mostly all worker uh, comb, you know, the smaller cell size, so they would raise workers in there, store pollen or honey. So we'll keep that one. Again, you'll notice I always start from the outside in. I don't want to roll my queen. All right, so we're storing a little bit of nectar on this one just the beginnings of storing some nectar so maybe I'll leave this one on the uh, on the far outside right at the bottom see if I can get a good view of this um, there is a small hive beetle see if I can so if you can see my finger he's right there yep well at least he fell out of the hive all right so we're gonna leave that one on the outside uh, that'll be our new outside frame so I'm going to pull out at least the one. Alright, now this one's got some heft to it. Quite a bit of nectar stored on here. They're doing really good compared to how they looked, uh, you know, just, just about 30 days ago. Now here we've got some drones. See, alright, here, eh, where'd he go? There he is, right underneath my finger, that's a drone, boy bee. Guess he's back from being out at the bars. That's what I call it, because all they do is go to the drone congregation areas and look for queens, uh, virgin queens to mate. All right. <clears throat> all right, so now we've got some brood. Looks like it's mostly drone brood, or almost all drone brood. Larger cells. They got the, like the bullet type capping on them. Just taking a quick look to see if I can find the queen. I'm not crazy to find the queen, but if we can find her and show her to you, we will. I would say they've got a fairly good temperament. I say that, now they'll sting me a thousand times. Alright. Now here's a nice frame of worker worker brood. Let's bring that into the 
frame there. Little spotty, and they are backfilling with uh, with nectar, which is always a little worrisome. You're thinking they might might want to be swarming when you see something like that. I'm gonna pull this out in the sunlight and see if I can see egg. Yep, I see some eggs. I'll try to get them in the camera view. All right. Okay, so if you look in that newest comb on the bottom of the cells, I'll try to get that angled properly. There are eggs in the bottom of the cell. When I put this on the computer, I'll check and see if you can actually see them on the screen. Another nice frame, mostly worker brood, a little bit of, of nectar backfilling. Haven't seen any queen cups, queen cells for that matter, so and we saw I saw eggs, so they haven't swarmed. <laughs> you wouldn't expect a hive that was this weak to have swarmed. But they are wild animals, so you never know what they're gonna do. Oh, there's a queen cup. We'll say cup until I look inside of it and see if there's a larva. All right, no larva, no egg. So right underneath my finger, that is a queen cup. Doesn't become a queen cell until you've got an egg or a larva in there. So. They're just being good Boy Scouts. They're being prepared in case they need a queen, a queen cell. They're looking fairly decent compared to, again, to what they looked like four weeks ago. Uh, it's night and day. Uh, most beekeepers probably, you know, if they had their hive beginning in April, coming out with a decent strength, you know, they'd have twice as many bees as this at this point in time. But we're just glad that we've got anything at this point. Another fairly good frame of uh, worker brood. Happy to see all that. Still no queen. She is a... She's a hider. <laughs> she... Running away, I guess. Another drone on there. Another queen cup. Yep, nothing in there. Now, of course, uh, you'll notice these are all foundationless frames, and I can manipulate them. Uh, you know fairly easily um, I just try not to you know turn them 90 degrees to the ground and then gravity pulls it out of course this one you know is attached fairly well um, so a person can sort of get away with some of that um, I'll if I want to turn it I'll put my fingers underneath there and support the bottom uh, so that it won't fall out on me so here's the last frame again we haven't seen the queen but we don't have to see the queen if we see eggs and larvae and all different ages of development. Right. Fairly no another nice frame. I mean, for foundationless, you know, I mean, just take a look at this. And they, they did a beautiful job of, of pulling that out without any help from, from humans. So we're looking on here. We got pollen stores, we got some brood, some nectar, still no queen. She is hiding. Well, you think with that big butt we'd be able to find her. A 
Well, I guess we're just not going to see her today. Uh, so, I said I'm just going to replace a couple of the frames I don't like, get some of the more worker uh, bru uh, comb in there. And uh, so it makes it easier for them to get more workers, obviously. They're probably, if they, if they keep advancing at this, at this rate, um, you know, I'll check them again in a couple weeks. And if, if they've really got things filled up and they haven't started swarm preparations, get another box on there and then uh, you know, spread them out a little bit, put a couple frames of brood up in the top box to, and a couple empty frames in the bottom that'll help um, ease that swarm urge. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put the box back together now. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them below. If you like the videos, like, subscribe, and comment, and have a good day.